Evergreen content is just a fancy word for an article that you write today that will bring you traffic in three to five or even ten years from now. So an article about the new iPhone is not evergreen, while an article about why dogs wag their tail is definitely evergreen. I try to focus 100% on evergreen content across all my sites, because that means I will get traffic to my site year after year without having to create new content just to get the same momentum going. So if you want to know how to find these great evergreen content topics for your site, stay tuned on this video because I have some really good tips coming up for you. The first tip is about using the data that you already have inside Google Analytics. So if you have a website that's let's say three, four or five years old, you have a gold mine of data sitting in there that you need to utilize. And that's data that only you have access to and that's not available to all your competitors. Let me show you how you can dig into your Google Analytics account to learn from your hard work to see what works and to get inspired for some great topics to write on. So we go into our Analytics account here and then you can take a look at the last 30 days and compare it to let's say three years from now. So now we are comparing the last 30 days to the same time period three years ago. And after we did that, we want to sort up here to only look at the organic traffic. Here that is, and click apply, because we don't want any spikes from Pinterest traffic or Facebook traffic, or if somebody shared it on Quora or Reddit to impact these numbers here, because that will typically cause a huge spike. So let's remove this data so we only have the organic traffic here now. And now let's go into advanced setting here and change this to only show page views greater than 500. So a quick recap, we're looking at the last month compared to the same month three years ago, and we are only looking at the organic traffic from Google. And finally, we're looking at the articles that have at least 500 visitors over the last month. So what we want to do now is to find articles that have visitors from three years ago. So we know it's an old article and we want to find those articles on this list that still has a good amount of traffic and page views today. So let's scroll down here. When it's zero, of course, it's a new article and it's not three years old. Let's find one here. This one had close to 9,000 page views over a month's time three years ago, and now it's down to 3,000. But let's see if we can find something better. This one brought in 2,000 page views three years ago, and now it's close to 3,000 page views. So that's definitely a good topic to look at. Let's try to find some more. I'll set this to 100. Let's keep scrolling here till we find something interesting. This one, for example, close to 2000 page views three years ago, and now it's 1300. That's probably also a good topic to get inspired from when we want to find more evergreen content. And this one is getting close to a thousand page views over the last month, and three years ago it was around 600 page views. So that's also a good one. So as you scroll down here, you'll quickly find some of the articles that do really well today, even though the article is three years old. And of course, if your website is, let's say, 10 years old, try and go even further back. Go six, seven, eight or 10 years back as far as you can to see what content you wrote 10 years ago that still brings in traffic today. And after you have compiled this list of old articles that still bring in a lot of traffic today, you will have a great list right there that will help you plan more evergreen content. Another little tip here that goes hand in hand with looking at your old content is to look at what other old content is ranking in Google. So when you're doing research for your articles or you're doing outlines for your writers and you're looking in Google for your topics, whenever you see an old article, let's say it's from 2014 or maybe even older, and that is blending in with the top results in Google, take a note on that article because to us this is a great indication that this topic and maybe other topics in relation to this will do well over a long period of time. The next tip I have is about how to spot and how to find these evergreen topics. I've been wrong a couple of times and sometimes I've gotten surprised when I dug into my analytics to see what actually ranked over a long period of time. So the first thing you need to think about here is what types of content will do well as evergreen content. And that's typically types like guides, list posts, 
informational content, like answering people's questions around a topic or a product you're talking about on your site, or reviews, interviews, and so on. And some niches will just not work with evergreen content at all. I'm thinking about gossip sites and celebrity stuff and news sites, but these niches are just horrible for so many reasons. For starters, you won't find a lot of affiliate deals around celebrity stuff. And you won't find a lot of revenue with ads because it's not something people want to advertise around. But also topics like fashion, maybe software tutorials and tech reviews. You know, areas where things are changing so quickly and the interfaces will change or they'll come out a new model like every year. And here's a long list of niches where it's typically very easy to find evergreen content. So these niches are really great and easy to work with. But really, I think you can find evergreen content in almost any niche out there. So it's all about thinking about the general issues and problems and things that people are talking and wondering about in your niche. And also you would think that some products won't do well with evergreen content if it's something where you have a new model every year. But that's often not the case. The next tip is to always use Google Trends to verify the data before you start writing, either if it's a topic or if it's your niche in general. Google Trends is where we go for these data because that's exactly where you can see seasonality but also the evergreen tendance over time. So here we are inside Google Trends. Let's start with a pretty broad topic like longboard. That was pretty popular at least a couple of years ago. If you look here over the five year period, it's trending downwards somehow. Maybe with a little spike right now, but who knows? It seems like this is a down going trend. So I would at least dig a little deeper into the search term before starting a long list of longboarding articles. If I wanted these to rank in five years from now. Google Trends is great when you want to evaluate a topic or a niche or a broad search. But as soon as you're diving into smaller topics and the smaller articles that we want to write for the first many articles on a new website, you cannot rely on Google Trends because there will not be enough data. That's when we're heading into Google to do our topic research. You cannot really do proper topic research inside Google Trends because you can only see the tendency over time. We want to use some other tools for that, but stay tuned on my channel because I have a lot of content about how to find topics. The next tip I have for you is to never mention specific dates or trends or events inside the content when we're working with evergreen content. Because if your readers are going to read your article like five years from now and you wrote something about the coronavirus or who's the president or this sports results and stuff like that, people will know instantly that this was an article that was dated back like five years ago and you just removed the date on the article. And believe me, you don't want to go back into hundreds of articles in three years from now to remove all these little words. You need to instruct your writers not to mention these things like current events and dates. However, I do use the current year inside my titles just because it works really well to get people to click on your search result in the Google results page. When people see that your article is 2020 or whatever year it is, they will know that your article is fresh and they want to click it. And this is something that you can easily update over time. Let me show you here inside my Google Analytics how you can do this quickly for hundreds of articles. When you are inside WordPress here, if you go to post here and you can of course do the same for pages. If you go to the screen option here and just make sure to untag as much as possible here to have a clear interface here, you can turn this number up to let's say 100 or as many articles as you have. I think I have around 100 articles on this one. So I'm going to set it to a little more than 100. So now I see all my titles down here and it's super easy to use this quick edit function. Click update. And now I'm back here instantly. And if you wanted to update, let's say 2019 to 2020, you just do a search here for 2019 or 2020 and you'll get all those highlighted as you scroll down here. Or you can use the search function here that's built into WordPress, of course. So this isn't too bad, really. Within 10 to 15 minutes, you can quickly update 2019 to 2020 or just update the titles as you want for a long list of titles. 
Subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more videos. I have new videos coming out every week. See you guys.